Welcome to another segment in the Sound Vision Powered by CVS instructional video series. I'm Bob Thomas, your host, and in this segment, we'll be talking about DICOM, DICOM 101. What is DICOM? DICOM is an acronym for Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. DICOM is a document that establishes a global information technology standard for the communication of digital data. DICOM devices. Some common devices using the DICOM protocol are images such as CT, MR, and ultrasound, picture archiving and communication systems, commonly referred to as PACs, reporting post-processing workstations, printers and print service. DICOM versus networking. The term DICOM is often used interchangeably and confused with networking. Networking is just one computer talking to another or many other computers. Many computers are linked without any DICOM associated. An example would be a home Wi-Fi connection between two computers and a common printer. Why DICOM? The computer in my home may well be very different than the one in yours. There are many different operating systems. Mac, PC, Linux, Unix, etc. Each using their own file processing protocols. An image or file created on my computer may be altered or unreadable on yours, especially in the case of image files which also come in a variety of formats, JPEG, bitmap, GIF, etc. In medicine, it is vital that the original patient examination and record data not be altered in any way when transferred from one device to another. Not only images, but demographic data such as patient, exam type, hospital date, etc. must be preserved and associated with the correct case study. When DICOM information is attached to the data being transferred, the receiving device is given specific instructions on how to reconstruct the information exactly as it was first produced. DICOM allows medical information to be communicated anywhere in the world between most systems. Why won't it work? The DICOM concept is often confused with networking and most users don't have a feeling for the complexity of DICOM. A general assumption is that if a server or PAC system is talking to every other manager, imager, but one, then the failure must be the fault of the imager. Device manufacturers complying with the DICOM standards will supply a document of conformity or conformance statement, which defines what part and how much DICOM it is compatible with. In example, some devices support outgoing or incoming connections only. The variables of DICOM conformance are managed by the network server. DICOM attributes of imaging devices is hardwired into the programming and cannot be altered. Once networking protocols have been established, IP address, IAE titles, etc., you see our networking video for more details. Then, transmission errors are most often the fault of the server and not the imaging. A compressed example of an on-live help form will illustrate. A question was posted. I had a problem establishing a DICOM connection to a Philips Gamma camera and received error codes. I tried connecting on Telnet 104 and got a connection refused reply. Sample responses were, in an attempt to help them out, the DICOM port for Telnet is 23, not 104. Another said, many systems don't allow communications for devices not declared on the server. Another said, verify the conformance statement for your specific device. The bottom line, while the complexity of DICOM exceeds the scope of this video, you only need to remember that DICOM and networking are two elements that work hand in hand to enable the digital sharing of medical procedures. Networking involves the dynamic connection between servers, workstations, and devices. DICOM defines the configuration of the data being shared. Thank you for listening and 
review a full line of instructional videos.